These are pre-gessoed. And again, folks, I know this is a lot of things I'm covering here, but little things like this make a big difference. I have people all the time say, well, do I need to gesso this canvas? Well, let me throw something out at you. If you need to, now notice these have little rough spots in it. If you don't like those little uh, weaves in there, those little flaws in the canvas, yes, what I would recommend is that you gesso it or seal it and then once again take your little sandpaper pad and going in a circular motion, you can even take this one. Now these have been gessoed at least two coats to seal the cotton canvas. If you look on the back, see it's a different color. That's sort of that, that wheat color. That's the unsealed canvas, but that's what was up here before they sealed it. But what I like to do, if I need a smoother surface, I'll put one coat of gesso on. I'm going to show you how to apply the gesso in a minute. And then we sand it, again, with a circular motion. And you can get all those little rough bumps off, and it makes it much smoother. Now I'm going to show you the different applications for applying gesso to either a treated or untreated canvas. And when I say the word treated, that means it's been gessoed at least once or twice, and you want to add a little bit more um, to it. Now, this is gesso. Now, another question that we have on the list is what's the difference between gessos? And I use, as you know, the thick gesso. If you look, I can hold it upside down and it doesn't fall out. I use a real thick gesso. It's much more opaque, has a lot more pigment in it. It uh, just does a better job of covering. I even use it to mix with my color sometimes instead of white paint because it's more opaque and softer. Uh, I've got a question on here about, well, what about the thin gessos, these liquid gessos? Folks, that's the biggest problem I have with my students when they come to workshops is they'll bring these real thin gessos and then I always try to use them and the paint, is, it's only, those thin gessos are only made for sealing the canvas. It's really difficult to paint with them because they are so fluid. They don't have any opacity to them uh, enough or thickness to put, you know, work with the color. But you can thicken this. Now, this is a question here I have. Can you thicken the thin gessos? Yes, you can. Guess how you do that? You can actually go to an art store, and we're talking a real good art store, and you can buy powdered gesso. Now, powdered gesso is nothing more than a powder, and it comes in a jar, and you can just take some of the powder, put in the gesso, the liquid gesso, and mix it until you get the consistency that you want, and you can literally get it to this point. So, if you want to thicken some of the thinner gessos, because it's, this is hard to find, folks. There's a few companies that make the thick gesso, but let me tell you, it's the best way to go if you're going to paint with it, if you're going to seal with it. Gesso is just a great, tech, a great medium to work with for, you know, doing the things that we do. But yeah, you can thicken it, so that should take care of that. But as for powdered gesso, there's also an oil-based gesso. The gesso that we're using is a water-based, so it has an acrylic, you know, binder in it. So that's what binds to the canvas is the acrylic. Uh, and so be sure that you, if you're working with the acrylics, that you get an acrylic-based gesso. If you're working with the oils, you can still use the acrylic-based gesso to seal the canvas, but you can also use an oil-based gesso. Now, another question on here is, can I put gesso on top of an oil painting? Well, let's think about this for a minute. You know, the old saying, oil and water don't mix. Uh, no, you really can't. You could if you sanded the oil painting really well and you got some uh, grit in there and got it where it would hit here. But remember, we're talking about a plastic resin that's in here and oil and water do not mix. It will cover it and it'll feel like it's solid. But when you take your finger and you run across it, you'll peel it off a lot easier. So if you're going to seal an old canvas that's oil, it would be best to use an oil-based gesso. Now, a lot of artists don't, and they find out later these, the paint peels off, and it may be a few years even, but it will eventually happen, folks. I'm just telling you the right way to do this stuff. So be sure that if you're going to cover up an oil painting, you use an oil-based gesso. If you want longevity, if you're using an acrylic painting, you can use just the acrylic base that you use water to thin with, and that'll work out fine there.